All right, so yeah, today we're gonna be working on a multiplayer Mario Kart like level with the P balloon, which is what I hate. I become my enemy. Do you believe it? Actually, let me put on a timer because I'm curious as to how long it's gonna take me. Generally, I don't like making multiplayer versus levels on stream because I like to figure out problems by myself. And when I stumble across a problem, which usually happens when you try to make multiplayer versus levels, because um, you always have to think of stuff like making sure each player doesn't have uh, an advantage over another, or like how making things work and stuff like that. And I like to, I actually really enjoy figuring that out by myself. So when people like are like, hey, you just do this, do this, do that, then I feel like I'm uh, not smart. So uh, I know people are gonna back see me, but we'll just. I was trying to figure out myself, you know? It was like when I made the uh, the Bowser's Big Blast, dude. That took so long to figure out. Alright, first things first, uh, let's not do underwater. And we're going to do ground. Just kind of delete everything, why not? Three, two, one. <laughs> Sub Semi, is DGR Schmoover? If he's not, he will be. We'll, we'll make him a Schmoover. Okay, so the first things first. Always gotta use the entire length. Well, there's two. Th there's a couple. There's a couple problems I need to solve because one, first things first, um, we have the the start. So like each player has their own lane, and it did occur to me that in Mario Kart, you have different like starting positions. So technically, like if you're in last, right, you you, you have a disadvantage from the start compared to if you're in first place because you're closer to the line. So I guess it's not the end of the world if a, a specific spot has. A slight advantage. It's not like the biggest thing in the world, but the second thing is lap mechanism. I want to come up with a way so it forces every single player to do three laps. Um, I'll, I'll figure that out later. And then the last thing is mis miscellaneous. Is it mis is it miscellaneous or miscellaneous? Like you have, you have the items where you're, like stars are are pretty big because they make you go faster and you're invincible. Maybe throwing like a like a shell where you can throw it at other people and but basically like trying to trying to like do stuff like that. And then we definitely need the beep 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 beep. Let's get like a bomb walking. So in Mario Kart, the starting beeps are an A. So I will do that. Two. Okay, what are you? Okay, we'll be right here. That's A. And then the very most important thing is I need the Mario Kart music to actually start. Which is, uh, here. Actually, there's another thing I want to figure out. So in Mario Kart, right, if you're in last place, you get, like, you get, like, better items. So it, like, makes you not as... feel. It makes you not feel like you're out of the running for winning. So I need to figure out a way for last place to have some sort of catch-up mechanism as well. So that'll be interesting to figure that out. I mean that works. That, that, that tempo works. There's a part of me that wants me to start it up here so you don't see it. But I also don't know which items like do different sound pitches. I guess I could do that. It would be like three of these, and then and then this this guy would fall down. It'd be like something like that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll work with that. That 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 works for me. Everything's off screen, so it doesn't bother me. That works. So then when the next thing is we have to get this to stop after three. So one way is just to. To do this. Probably have to adjust this, but so yeah, then it would stop. And then we have to time it so that the on-off switch activates the same time. If not, it does the exact same thing. So then it would be like Actually that's kinda that's actually kinda close. Maybe we'll keep that in. Let's go. 
technically it's a little early, but I feel like you wouldn't notice it. You'd have to notice- you'd have to pay attention to notice that it's like a little early. It's like a frame too early, but I think it's close enough. Alright, now we gotta figure out how to make each other in a separate lane. The thing is, I don't care if you're in separate lanes, I just care that one person doesn't take all the pee balloons. So we do like this, alright. So we have each one in a separate little, uh, lane, and then the lanes can converge before the start. You just can't pass this line before the, 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 the uh, the timer starts. So it's kind of like an extended version of when you're fighting in a box, but, you know, that makes sense. I hope. This looks ugly AF, but it does the job. We're all about just, you know, it does the job, and that's all we care about. Except I care a lot more than that, but whatever. Technically, so if you want the if you want the optimal boost, right, you would just time it so you start farting. Right when it disappears, so you do get the auto boost, and if you mess up too early, you bonk. So it's kind of kind of works because in Mario Kart, right? You, if you time it, you get the boost, and if you press it too early, then you you, you spin out, right? So if you, if you if you time your fart too early, you can go bonk. This kind of works. We'll even give it a little more room so you can fight for the middle, I guess. There's the fight to the middle. Look at this. You have so much time to fight, too. Woo! See, if you go too early, then you Omega screw up, and and uh, you're good. Now we actually have to design it. I thought about basing it off of an actual Mario Kart course, but no. We're gonna be original. I think I might have it so that when you're here, you can actually see like where you need to be so you can fight beforehand. So maybe we'll do like... Uh... I guess we could we could just do the middle. I think optimally what we'll do at the minimum, I want it to be like a four lane or four block like path, so that way it allows for opportunities for the other person to pass if they can. I wish there was like drifting because you could like drift past someone, but the problem is you know. The only way to pass another person is if they have a star, I guess. Which I will put stars. So for now, like this would be five. I could make it four, but I can already tell you this would bother the hell out of me. And it would probably bother a lot of other people too, so we're just gonna make it five. Then we'll add shortcuts, we'll, we'll add we'll add lots of things. Now I gotta figure out how to make you do three laps per person. And ideally, I would use the same areas. So, like, right, like I designed the course, and then you'd be like, boop, 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 you go in a circle, and then you do it again two more times. Rather than just rebuilding the same identical spot in like a subworld or something, I guess that'd be like, no. Nah. That's why I might have to just do a subworld, which would be a little lame, but it's a rough. It's rough, man. I guess for now I'll just do this. If I think of it, I'll uh... If I can think of it, then great. If not, then we'll just rebuild something in some world or something. I don't know. In an ideal world, I would have a lab mechanism. It was like that problem I had with like the player counter mechanism. Right, it was like it was like the idea I had my player mechanism, player counter mechanism, how to count how many people are in the game. I have to make it so you can't take damage either. Alright, we're in a little, little curve here. I guess maybe for future ones we'll try to do a lap mechanism, but for right now, we're just gonna be vibing here. And we're gonna and we're gonna make some uh 
some stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with some like relatively non hurt you obstacles like bumpers and claws. Because if you, there's mechanisms that hurt you, I have to re-give you a pea boon somehow. Okay, what are some other non-lethal obstacles besides bumpers? No blocks and claws. Saws. Lifts. We have um, one-way gates too. Spring, wait, how do you interact with a springboard on a springboard? Okay, I can do some springboard stuff. Um, turn blocks. Dude, lemmy balls are actually- I actually thought about that too. Dude, what if we put the blowsifts in there? On-off switches. So the thing with a lot of these obstacles is if you're in first place, right, you're gonna have like a slight disadvantage. Just like a slight one, not like a big one, right? It's kind of like equivalent to getting blue shelled, and we all don't like that, right? Where's Lemmy? I love your balls, Lemmy. Come here. So here are all the obstacles. Alright, so we'll go, we're, we're zooming through here. And then maybe we'll do like a, the first star here, so... We'll put like a down arrow. Arrows are pretty, pretty big, right? So put like an arrow here. And we'll put the first little little thing here. So if you want the star, you'll have to go up here to get it. Which is a time loss, right? But it may be worth it if you traverse properly and effectively. Something like that, right? The star. And then for extra caution, we'll put like a little bumper here. You know, I'm actually a little excited to make this, dude. Actually, kind of, kind of a fan here. Also, yes, yeah, stars do respawn. I don't think someone will actually wait for it to respawn. If you did, that'd be kind of amusing. I don't want to put a shortcut early on. I might put multiple different paths. But they would be identical paths, so like it would split in two, we can go above or below. Something like that. Dude, you're zooming with the star. <laughs> How fast are you with Star and Night Sky? Wait, is it faster? Wow, that's fast as f Holy sh- dude, you go so fast! Oh my god. I don't know if I want to make my first Mario Kart level. 5,000 cc. Maybe maybe for our second one because this is just my first one. You know, we're doing baby steps, man I don't I don't want to go jump ahead of myself I Guess we'll add some coins All right, let's let's put a let's put a converge or a diverging path. Is that the right word? So I'll put like an up arrow or a down arrow. I'll have to, I have to, I'll have to go back and make this look prettier. For now, it's kind of a, a mess. Can make a single player version. Mm, maybe. The good thing about this is the cycles will be different for each person since it's going to be based on the first time this gets spawned. So if you're like further back, you'll have a different cycle, which means it might like the top or bottom route might be more convenient for you because if the bumper's here, you're probably more likely to go down. 
Yo, we're gonna add we're, we're gonna add an obstacle that I didn't see the other guy use. Ready? Watch this. Look at this. Ready? Boom! It's a wall. It's a moving wall. Take that. Look at that originality, man. See, so yeah, I don't want to uh, make one path better than the other. So this one, there won't be any like tricky stuff behind it right now. Um, it, this one's just like a small diver diverging path. Place a nice little bumper right here. Bumpers are pretty, 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 pretty cool. Again, I don't want... So the star has to be out of the way. It has to be an inconvenience. So, like, I guess we'll put it down here. So here's kind of the first little section where... The first little part where first place actually has a slight disadvantage. Because you have to go up to hit the switch. Meanwhile, the person second doesn't have to, unless the person first doesn't want to hit it. In that case, the person first gave up their lead that they had. I want to put an obstacle here, though. I guess we could put a claw. The claw like slows you down, like maybe like a frame, I think. Yeah, so it slows you down slightly. Can I hide a pipe in breakable blocks that looks like a trap with a one way and boost them up to the level? I don't know how I feel about those. Like, I want the shortcuts to be visible. But they're gonna have like a risk involved with it. Like for example, right, we had this one. It's a pretty pretty big shortcut, but there's a slight risk because of how narrow you have to go. Bonking is very not fun. So it'd be like this. Wait, that's actually pretty good. So here's like a small shortcut. Let's see, can you go around this? I can definitely go around it. And of course, definitely got to put the... We'll put a 10 coin for the fans. It's a, it's a, it's a small shortcut, so it's a 10 coin. The bigger shortcut, 30 coin, then the big boy shortcut for the 50. So uh, we'll have arrows. But the arrows won't be for shortcuts, so just be for the regular path. This bothers me. I think what we'll do is, uh, let's do this. It's not symmetrical, I know. I'll do a little little section here where you actually have to be below and if you're above then you have to backtrack a little and I'll replace it with another star probably. So I'll do like this. So that way if you get bumped back up you have to go back around. Alright, so you're like here, and then you get bumped, you go back around, you actually have to wait. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to bring out the Lemmy. <laughs> Oh god, this is, wait, this is actually abysmal.
Wait, if you're a star, do you go through Lemmy's balls? Oh, you don't. That makes it even better. I want to have another on-off switch right here. Just like a small, small... Another lem- Dude, you guys are crazy. No, 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 no. Dude, we, we got enough lemmies, it's fine. I don't usually care about aesthetics early on, but I'm just gonna do that for now. I think here, we might add the mechanism where the person in last place has a chance to catch up. Chaos here. A little bit of pseudo rain in this. We'll throw in a diagonal too. Even throw in another bumper here. All right. So this is this is the mechanism I was talking about. So basically, if you're in last place, let's say you're like right here, right, and first place is like all the way like over here. First place is gonna trigger something that allows last place to catch up. Not entirely, but not to the extent where they're like 30 seconds behind. So it goes from 30 seconds behind to like five seconds behind. So they're still behind, but not as much. See, here's a secret passageway that the person, the, the people in last are like very far behind. They get to take the catch up. So I'd probably have it trigger like right here. Yeah, they're like within this distance behind, which is at least five seconds. So we're gonna get some falling, uh, get some falling pipes here of various speeds. Make it pseudo random. And add the bumpers so that you can't die. And then the play actually is to put a star. Ooh, here's a shortcut. Wait, wait. This might be a big brain shortcut right here. But you have to have like another P switch fall or something. <laughs> so that way you can't just. Okay, well, I'll probably be faster. <laughs> We're gonna get some turn block action going here. Then we have to make you go to the left and swivel back right. And then at the same time, have to dodge. Go like this. Also, have to put a one way gate to prevent you from going back down. Just in case. There. Dude, what if I made like a... <laughs> what if I made like a super duper high risk, high reward shortcut that like takes you to the end? Like like there's some like some really dumb shortcut that if you somehow get super lucky, you just win. <laughs> like it'd be like this. Alright, you, you could literally see the end right here. Maybe, maybe I could do like something like this, right? And then with a bumper. 
Like, it'd be a really, really, really tight bumper section. I don't even think this is possible, honestly. Oh my god, it's possible. <laughs> I would also have, like, a star down here. So that way, second place has a chance if they they go for the star. All right, we had the blowy joeys here. It doesn't. This one doesn't really matter too much because the idea here is the blowy joeys blow you up, and it forces you. Well, I guess this one doesn't really force you, but so then it'll drop these guys. So first place and or second place, depending on how fast they are, we'll have to take the top route. Yeah, so if it's on or off, it won't matter. Because you can just go around. If it's on, though, it'll just make it harder. Like a little, a little more difficult obstacle. So now you have to go back down. And you have to deal with the plethora of claws. I'm really curious how this plays out in uh, multiplayer versus. Yeah, first place gets mildly hecked here. Only mildly. Why not? And then lastly, you'll put like a star. Right here. Actually, like right here. Dude, it would be so hyped to see someone win from that. Okay, there, and that should be more visible now. It's more visible. The home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do this. I guess we'll do that. They'll be funny the first time. And then once you know they're there. Let me hit end. <laughs> yeah, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Definitely gotta add the heartbeat sound effect for if you decide to go for it. <laughs> add some more coins here. I don't know if the coins actually help, but I'm just gonna put them anyways. I put a 50, I put a 30 coin here. And the 50 coin, if you get the 50 coin, you're, you're you're gaming. Nice. Definitely got to put the pig sound effect in uh, everything we can that you can like interact with. <laughs> I guess it would be funny if if we just put pigs on these guys. <laughs> I'm so f immature. Sure, dude, why not? Put them everywhere, man. Okay, maybe we'll change the theme, because the ground kind of sucks. 
You know, ice does kind of look significantly better. What can I put for an audience? Let's put a Yoshi in here. Put the Yoshman. Let's put like a Bum Bum down here. There you go. Let's put one here too. Put another Bum Bum. Aren't they three tall? I don't know, that's a Nessun Musu. Maybe get a little, a little Yoshi here too. And like a mole here. Maybe another Pokey down here. The Pokies are just chilling, man. They're just out here saying hi, what up? Angry Wiggler Gang. Fine, we'll put an Angry Wiggler. We'll put like two, I guess. So I'll put a Thwomp here, why not? He's an angry boy. All right, the gang's all here, right? Initial P. I don't know about Mario Fart. Do you think my level will get taken down because I put the word fart in the title? Probably. All right, I'm not going to do it. All right, ready to upload this. Mario Kart Initial P reached the world as a Balloon Mario. I was gonna say, can you beat my time? But my time's gonna be awful. Oh, optimal start by your boy. Look at the audience. People be cheering us on. Now there's Wendy for the fans. Uh oh. We're going for the shortcut. Risk reward. Okay, it was not worth it. We're not going for it. Oh goodness, maybe it was worth it. Uh oh. Retreat. <laughs> Shout out to the piggies. Alright, here's Lemmy's balls. Dodged it first try. You can actually avoid that platform. Oh no. Oh, this part, dude. <laughs> We're going for the shortcut. Oh, wait a minute. We just first tried that. Ah, uh, we couldn't pseudo dodge. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I'm actually secretly a gamer here. Never mind. I changed my mind. There's the Yoshman. We're gonna get the star for the fans. Oh god, dude. There we go. Easy as pie. Not easy. But that's fun. I can't wait to see what the world record's gonna be. My time was like, what was? Was that like a, a 120? Alright, so multiplayer versus Spirit. Spirit makes sense, because you actually have to go fast. Pog. I would do art, but I think Spirit's more acceptable. So yeah, there we go, that's the level, um... Try to be my time, I guess. <laughs> Even though I kind of sucked. 120. Good time. Mario Kart. <clears throat> I love this. Initial P. I get it. I get it! I get it! That took me a minute, actually. <laughs> 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 Is that it? Yeah, that's, that's one of them. There's also Deja Vu! Deja Vu! Da, 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 I didn't know that one, one. yeah. Hey, that one's good. And then there's Gas, Gas, Gas! Da, 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 da. They're spinning me out, dude! <laughs> oh my oh! god! Oh, yeah, <laughs> water. Watch out, dude. I'm about to get the recce on this level. Watch it's actually kind of hard to get the recce, apparently. Oh, no. Whoa! The double spin! Oh, what the heck? Oh, he doesn't want to get the star. I gotta do that. Thank you, my bro. I got the star. I'm coming in hot. Problem was, I didn't take any shortcuts last time. I gotta get on the shortcut. Game. No, get this on one's not game. worth it. The star is useful for Lemmy's balls coming up. All right, well, I might as well get it then. Oh my god, I can't believe I made that. No, oh, not the balls. Oh no. Hey! Nice! No, 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 go up, please! Oh, no. 
No, no, no. Getting... Oh, oh, my God. The Lemmy section Ooh. is so... All right, we're good. We're good. Wait, I want to try something here. Whoa, dude, I'm owning. It hit, bro. Oh, what? What is? What did you do? <laughs> oh God! Get through! Get through! Get through! Nice. Oh, race dodge the the. Oh, race actually will win this. Dude, I'm owning. This is so good at this level. It's because I did my ninja practice. <laughs> oh my God! Dude, I'm owning. Oh, the angle from your boy. Oh my wow. God. <laughs> Race fire. Fire. There, there we go. We we have finished our first Mario Kart level, which is meant for either single player or four people, which is the neat part. So shout outs to that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed watching.